All right, everybody, we're working through this uh, question here. This is the quadratic functions and equations review, question 2a. Uh, and what we're going to do here is we're going to take and put this in specifically in vertex form so that we can answer the, the questions quite specifically here. When I see it in this form right here, right off the bat, I can see that the vertex is going to be the point 2, negative 4. So my vertex is 2, negative 4, which tells me immediately that my axis of symmetry is going to be the line x equals positive 2. Okay? Uh, the domain, I'll just use uh, a D with a colon here to introduce the domain. Uh, this is a quadratic. Okay, this isn't a word problem or anything like that, so the domain will be all reals. And our range, okay, well now i got to take a look at the function again. Uh, our function here has got a positive stretch here, which means the parabola is going to open up, and the vertex is 2, negative 4. And because it opens up, I know this will be a minimum. And so because it's a minimum, our range here will be y is greater than or equal to negative 4. Okay, good. So that's the majority of our work done. Now what I want to do is take a look at the x and y intercepts here. Our y intercept will occur where x is equal to 0. So y will equal 2 times 0 minus 2 squared minus 4. And this is just evaluating it here. Okay, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Squared is 4. Times 2 is 8. Minus 4 is 4. So the y intercept is going to be positive 4. And that's just evaluating. All you got to do is make sure that you're doing the order of operations correctly. For the x intercept, a little bit different. We're going to make the what whoops, sorry, we're going to make the y coordinate equal to 0, which means 0 is equal to 2 x minus 2 squared minus 4. Now this actually becomes a quadratic equation that we got to solve. But because it's in vertex form, it's not that bad. I'm going to bring the 4 over first. So 4 is equal to 2 x minus 2 squared. Then I'm going to divide by the 2 to get 2 is equal to x minus 2 squared. Okay, now I need to take the square root of both sides. Okay. And i got to do it over here because I'm la uh, lacking room here. So this will be plus or minus root 2 is equal to x minus 2. Okay, remember the plus or minus. You're taking the square root, so you don't know which one of those it is. Now I'm going to add the 2 to both sides. So this will become 2 plus or minus the square root of 2. And those are my two x-intercepts. And there we go.